Hello, my littles. Welcome to Mammy's Corner. I'm Mammy. How are you? Okay, let's do our affirmations before I start reading the book. Let's go. Ready? I am loved. You are so loved. Let's say it again. I am loved. You are loved. God loves you and so does Mammy. Don't forget it. All right, next one. You ready? I am good. You are good. Say it again. I am good. Very good. Now for the next one. I am kind. Yes, you are kind. Say it again. I am kind. Very good. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button so you can see more of Mammy. Okay, are you ready? So today's reading is, again, out of the Disney's Storybook Collection. Let's see what we're reading today. All right, so let's read out of the Disney Storybook Collection. The next story is Sleeping Beauty. Oh, and remember, children, all of these Disney Storybook Collections are based off of a movie. So if there's something that you want to see, ask someone to show you the movie. All right, let's start reading. Long ago, in a faraway kingdom, a tiny princess was born. Her parents, the king and queen, named her Aurora. Her parents announced that Aurora would one day marry young Prince Philip. He lived in a neighboring kingdom. To celebrate Aurora's birth, the king held a great feast at the castle. Feast means like a, a big party with lots of food. So people came from near and far, bringing gifts for the child. Three good fairies came to the feast, and they brought the baby special gifts. Mine shall be the gift of beauty, said the first good fairy. Mine shall be the gift of song, said the second. Before the third good fairy could speak, an evil witch named Malefic Maleficent appeared. She was angry because she hadn't been invited to the feast. <gasps> oh, no. Maleficent warned that on Aurora's 16th birthday, the girl would prick her finger on a spinning wheel and die. <gasps> but the third good fairy had, yet, had not yet spoken. No, the princess will not die, she said quickly. She will only sleep until true love's kiss breaks the spell. To keep Aurora safe, the king and queen secretly sent her to live with the good fairies. That was nice of them. The fairies called the child Briar Rose so that no one would know who she was. On the day of Briar Rose's 16th birthday, the fairies sent her off to pick berries in the wood, woods. Then they began preparing for her birthday party. The fairies had put away their magic for fear that they would be discovered by Maleficent. But after struggling with a lopsided cake and a dress that just didn't look right, they retrieved their magic wands and set about making everything perfect for Briar Rose. Meanwhile, beautiful Briar Rose wandered through the woods with her animal friends. Suddenly, a handsome young man appeared. Briar Rose did not know it was Prince Philip. Later that day, when the birthday celebration was over, it was time for the princess to return to the castle. She was going to live with her parents once again. That night, the evil fairy Maleficent appeared at the castle and lured Aurora away to a lonely tower. There, she tricked the princess into touching a spinning wheel. Aurora pricked her finger, <gasps> what's going to happen, and fell into a deep sleep. To save the king and queen from terrible heartache, the good fairies put everyone in the castle to sleep. Meanwhile, Maleficent wanted to keep Prince Philip away from Aurora, so she locked the prince in a dungeon. How not nice of her. Oh my goodness. Philip was not a prisoner for long. The good fairies brought him a magic shield and sword. Soon, he was on his way to rescue the princess. To keep Prince Philip from entering the castle, Melisa Maleficent surrounded it with thick branches full of thorns. That was not nice, was it? But that didn't stop the prince. As soon as the prince came closer to the castle, Maleficent turned herself into an angry dragon. It was a terrible fight. But Philip used his magic shield and sword and finally defeated the dragon. Yay! Prince Philip raced to the tower and found the sleeping beauty. He kissed her tenderly and the princess awoke. At the same moment, everyone in the castle awoke. 
The king and queen were overjoyed to see their daughter again. Soon it was announced that Princess Aurora and Prince Philip would marry. Everyone in the kingdom rejoiced, for they knew that Aurora and her prince would live happily ever after. The end. I hope you liked that story. It was, it was pretty interesting, wasn't it? The movie's even better. But anyway, so don't forget to hit that like button when you watch my videos. It lets Mammy know that you really like the videos. Because otherwise, I'm not going to know if you like them or not. So do I keep reading? Will you let me know? All right, thank you. Don't forget that God loves you and so does Mammy. Shh, don't tell, but Mammy loves you bestest. Have a good day. See you soon.